Okay, welcome back. So now what we've done is, is as you saw earlier, we dropped in the deco beads, or some people call them water beads, um, love beads. There's all different types of names for them, but the, the, the trademark name is deco beads, and that's what I'm going to be uh, referring to from this point on. And so what we did was is we dropped the deco beads into this container of water. Now, six hours later, you will see that what has happened is, is that these beads have actually swelled up and they're just like jelly. They're, just, they're very slippery, very rubbery. They bounce a lot and they're full of water. So they hold a ton of water. So I'm going to show you a few tricks today that you can do with these deco beads and get you ready for some parties where you can actually decorate with your deco beads. So the first thing that I want to show you is, is how to make flowers appear as if they are floating in the water. So I have got some knockout roses here that I just picked from my rose bushes outside. Now you got to be real careful because these things are really slippery and they will bounce everywhere. They are not harmful to the environment, but just make sure you don't put them down your sink or like me, don't accidentally drop a few down the sink. And we just keep putting in a few more of these. Some we point out to the side, some we point inward, just so they have all different angles there. And you can see once you start dropping these in, because there is some weight to them, that they're actually going to move around. So you just get, get down in there and manipulate them however you need to. Now you know you can do all different types of things with this. You can use shells, uh, you can use jewels, just a different variety of things that you can use. And I'm just going to let that be it now. And there you go. So you say, well, Jerry, <laughs> how special is that, right? Well, hold on just a moment because let me show you where the magic comes in with these beautiful, let me show you how these bounce. With these beautiful, whoop, whoop, got away from me. With these beautiful deco beads, as we add the water, watch what happens. The deco beads will actually start to disappear because they're crystal clear. They're nothing but things holding water. And look at this. Now you have this beautiful arrangement that looks like the flowers are actually floating in midstream. Right in the middle of the container they look like they're floating. Imagine what a beautiful centerpiece that would be if you had one of these on each one of your tables. Now I'm going to show you a few more things. Now the beautiful part about these are is that they last forever. So if you could get you a container just like this where you can seal it you can actually dump the water out and put these back into your container, put them back into your refrigerator, and they're going to last up to six weeks. If they start dehydrating some, just pour more water in. So they are really going to last a long time if you take care of them. And sometimes if they start to get dirty because maybe we've got dirt on our hands or dirt on the flowers, just put them in an area in like a colander and wash them off and put them right back in your container and they're so much fun. So let me get this cleared out and then I'm going to show you something else that we can do. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now we're ready again. We're going to show you something else. Let's put this off to the side for a minute. We'll come back to that one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to make a flameless votive candle. Imagine putting five or six of these on your table or one in each place setting. Now this one here I think is just fantastic, very affordable, and we're going to be using what's called acolytes. Now acolytes are submergible lights. There are all different types of them. Now these particularly, you can get these at any craft store or you can look at the link below in one of my, on my blog and I'll, sh I'll have a link there where you can get to them. Uh, some of them that I'll be sh talking about in future videos actually have rechargeable batteries so you can switch the batteries out and put new batteries in. These aren't, once these batteries are gone, they're gone, but they last about 15 or 16 hours. 
Uh, some of them even have remote controls, and we'll be focusing on them too and featuring them in some of the upcoming videos. But these here, they actually have a button on the bottom. You just push it, and each time you push it, it changes the color of the light. Now you can see there, it just continues going to all different colors. So let's just stick with that one just because it's got all different colors there. And we'll put that right down in the center of that. <laughs> you really got to get this down. You really got to get the right container to make sure that you can pour these easily. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, let's just go ahead and top this off with just a few little roses. And you know, you don't even have to do that, you know, really. I mean, it's not even needed. But I'm just going to do it since only, only because they're sitting there. So let's go ahead, I'm going to drop the lights down now so you can get an idea, really, of what this looks like. Look at that color. Absolutely amazing. Now imagine having several of these sitting on your table or having one at each place sitting. I'm not so sure I'd want all of them flashing, but still you get the idea about how wonderful they look. Now let me get my other camera and see if I can get a really good close-up for you. So we'll slowly bring the lights back up and see how they look with different lights. There you go. I think you get a really good idea there now of what they're looking like with just a little bit of light on there. Is that just not gorgeous? and very affordable. Now, let's take these, and you can see, I mean, my goodness, there's just hardly any cost involved with this at all, and other than the, than the light, it's all reusable, and if you can get some of the deco lights that we're gonna be talking about later on, even those will be reusable. So now we'll turn this off. And now we're gonna do the same thing again, with the big container just to show you what it could look like. We'll take that. These come two in a pack. So this time I'm going to not have them flash. I think I'm just going to have them stick with one color. That flashing can really make you crazy. Now what you would want to do in a container like this is you probably would want to have three or four of these. And we're going to try to get that on the same color again. Now imagine if we had a flower arranger sitting on top of this container or three or four of those individual votives sitting around the, the outside of this as your centerpiece. I'll drop the lights again just so you can get an idea of what they look like. Okay, so now we've got one more we're going to do for you. Now here I have a nice green glass bowl. So we're just going to go ahead and put this, and I don't like the green so much with this green bowl. Let's see what different colors we have. I guess I'll just stick with that color again. I'm going to face that one down, and then we'll get the other one here. And we'll face that one upward. We'll take these. Maybe I shouldn't have poured it out like this. I should have probably scooped them. 
What I'm doing though is I'm trying to get them to really fill up this bowl so that you can really see the gels. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some more water because this time we're going to put flowers in. Just a little bit of water at the bottom. Now the trick to this is, is you don't really want to cover up the deco beads. So we just want to do a little bit of flowers here. And I think what would be perfect for this would be if you had like a cymbidium orchid. This would be absolutely perfect for cymbidium orchid. We will cut a few more of these. Once again, this is rows of Sharon that I did just once again cut out of my yard. So I love to show you all the different things. And yes, I own a flower shop and I love to sell you flowers, but at the same time, I also love to show you all the different things that you can grow in your yard so that you can just do like I did, just run out one afternoon and pick these flowers and have a beautiful arrangement in no time at all. This right here, these are the blooms from monkey grass. We'll just take a couple of them, drop them down in there. And because we've poured the water in the bottom, we're actually going to have water where that will feed your flowers. So let's go ahead. Oops, I have one more here. Okay. So let's get this in here and we'll run it down that way. Now, once again, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lights just a little bit so you can see that a little bit better and see how wonderful it looks when that light starts hitting that green glass bottom. Not only does the deco bead show up, but so does the green glass bowl. So there you have it. Beautiful arrangements made with beautiful, simple, easy and very affordable deco beads. Make sure you go out to your craft store and get you some today so we can get started because I have a lot more projects coming up where we're going to be using deco beads to decorate your next party. It's just really that easy. We'll see you later. Bye.